Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Second Step lesson. I'm excited to tell you that we are starting a new unit and our lessons for the next couple of weeks will be all about problem solving. This is a very important skill for us to learn. Let's get right into today's story. Our story today is about Travis and Leo. Travis and Leo run into an issue on the playground. As I mentioned, we are starting to learn about solving problems. To do that, we need to learn the problem solving steps. S-T-E-P. Here is a song to help you remember what each letter stands for. And in trouble and I don't know what to do There are four problem solving steps that always help me through Number one, it's the S yes step S, say the problem What is the problem? Number two, it's the T step T, think of solutions What can we do? Number three, it's the E step E, explore consequences What might happen? Number four the P step. P, pick the best solution. What will work the best? So let's all remember the four problem solving steps. Let's say them one time over so we never forget. One, two, three, four. S T E P. What is the yes step? Say the problem. What is the T step? And I don't know what to do I use the problem solving steps They always help me through Cause I am a problem solver 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 I say I am a problem solver 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 S-T-E-P My old playground. Recess was my favorite time because I liked doing stuff with my friends. Playing tag, playing soccer, and of course, swinging. Leo and Travis like doing stuff too, but they've got a problem. Hey, let me have a turn. No, I got here first so I can use it as long as I want. But you're not even swinging. You're just twisting around. So what? You can't tell me what to do. I just want to twist around. I don't have to swing. But that's not fair. You have to give me a turn, too. No, I don't. Hey, let go. <laughs> okay, this isn't going well. Hey, guys, what's going on? So how do you think that Travis and Leo are feeling right now? Probably irritated, upset, angry. They're having strong feelings and that means they cannot think clearly. What do we need to do when we are having a strong emotion? If you said calm down, you answered correctly. It's important to calm down so that we can use the smartest part of our brain to solve our problems. So swinging is supposed to be fun, right? But it doesn't look like you're having much fun. 
What's the problem? Travis is trying to take the swing from me, and I got here first. But he's not even swinging. He's just twisting around. It sounds like you're stuck, and you're not going to be able to swing your way out of it. I think this calls for the problem-solving steps you learned. What are you doing? I'm trying to make an S, but it's not working. An S? I get it. S is the first step. Yeah, S. Say the problem, remember? The problem? The problem is Leo is always hogging the swing. And he never uses it for swinging. Nuh-uh. The problem is Travis is always telling me what to do. I never get to swing by myself because of you. Oh, you both sound pretty angry. I feel like that sometimes. What works for me is taking a minute to calm down. If you can calm down, then you can try saying the problem without blame. When we're trying to solve a problem, it's easy to use blaming words like always. He always hogs the swing and never uses it for swinging. He always tells me what to do. These blaming words make people feel even more angry and they get you farther away from solving your problem. The best way to say the problem is to find a way to say what both people want. Let's find out what happens next. When you calm down, I know you'll be able to solve your problem. Start by using your stop signal. Then, name your feelings. Chillax. I'm feeling super mad. Cool it. I feel angry. Okay, good start. You've named your feelings, so let's do some belly breathing to calm down. Then, you can work on solving the problem. Well, I know I feel calmer. I think you're ready to work on solving your problem with S-T-E-P. We started with S, which is... Say the problem. I said it. Leo's always hugging the swing. And I said Travis is always bossing me around. When you say the problem using words like always and never, you're using blaming words. That's going to make the other guy feel like it's his fault. And if he thinks you're blaming him, he's going to feel mad. Those kinds of words fall into the disrespectful category. And we're all about being respectful. Let's try something that'll help you say the problem without blaming anybody else. Travis, tell us what you want or need. I want to turn on the swing. And what do you want or need, Leo? I want to finish my turn on the swing. So if we put both of those wants together, we can say the problem without blaming. The problem is you both want to use the same swing. Yeah, and I want to twist around on it. Travis wants to swing, but I don't. So now what? After calming down, Leo and Travis say the problem without using blaming words. Now they are ready to use the next problem-solving steps. Let's review the, the four problem-solving steps before we wrap up our lesson. S-T-E-P. S stands for say the problem. T stands for think of solutions. E, explore consequences. And P, pick the best solution. We will continue to learn about the problem solving steps in the next couple of lessons. Until then, thank you for watching.